Step one in your home selling process is accepting an offer, which you have already done. Congratulations. I'm absolutely thrilled for you. I want to take this opportunity to thank you again for allowing me to be part of your home selling journey. I sincerely appreciate it. And with that being said, let's jump into the contents of this email. First thing that you're going to see in the email below are the key contacts for this transaction. The first key contact in that list is my transaction coordinator and assistant. You've already interacted with them quite a bit before we went on the market when we were doing the disclosures, but you will continue to interact with them as we proceed through the rest of the transaction. They'll reach out to you if they need any additional documents signed. If we happen to miss an initial as they go through their file audits throughout various points of the transaction. So if you see an email from them, please respond to that as quickly as possible. The other key contact is our escrow and title company. Our escrow officer is basically like the middle person in this transaction who is essentially facilitating the process of this sale. So they interact with myself as a listing agent. They'll interact with you as the seller. They interact with the buyer's agents, the buyer, the lender. They are essentially, like I said, this middle person kind of facilitating the entire process. So when you get emails from them, please respond to those as quickly as possible. They will have documents that you need to sign. They will also so be scheduling your signing at the end of the transaction when we're actually doing the final paperwork to facilitate the final step in the sale. So again, please, if you get emails from them or if they reach out to you via phone, please get back to them as quickly as you possibly can. And the second thing in the email below are your key contract dates. Of course, the first date on there is the date that you accepted the offer, the date that you signed. So that date is gonna be the first date on the list. The next set of dates are gonna be our contingency dates. So those would be the inspection contingency, the loan contingency, and the appraisal contingency, if we had any of those as part of our purchase agreement. But those key dates will be on there as well as their important milestones in the transaction. And of course, the last key date on there is our closing date, the date that we're all working towards to get your transaction closed close to finalize the sale and get you your money. So that's essentially what you have in the email below. If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. I am still your primary point of contact. You can always reach out to my transaction coordinator and assistant as well, but please do not hesitate to reach out to us if you need anything or if you have any questions. Again, thank you, congratulations, and we'll look forward to getting this transaction closed for you. Mm -hmm.